Hey kids, it's Tommy. And for today's Tommy Log Tech, I want to take a look at the Netgear Ready NAS 214 and show you how to set it up. It couldn't be easier, but I want to show you my experience because it is Okay, awesome. the first thing you're going to do once you take it out of the box is probably take a look at the manuals. They have manuals for pretty much every, every language. I'm going to pick English, but we're not going to open it up because you have me to help you out. Here's the Ready NAS. Super, super, it's beefy. It's got like a handle on the back here. You can hold on to it. And this is a piece, a serious piece of hardware. We have the front here, and I have one of the drive bays removed. So this has got four drive bays in it. Currently, there's only two drives in there, but they give you the like drive shuttles for uh, add extra drives. And then the back. Really, what you need to know is you need to know power, and you need to know network. I just plugged in one network cable into my router, and then power, and the thing initialized and came came to life. Adding a hard drive to it is super simple. Let me show. It comes you. with this little hard drive shuttle. Click down to pull it out of the bay. Then inside is this zero tool mechanism. Kind of place the hard drive into it and push it forward. This little piece clicks in, boom. And you can unclick it using this little receptor in the front here. You unclick it and you can push the drive backwards to change out drives, add bigger hard drives, or in my case, to add more hard drives. Uh, Netgear sells the ReadyNAS 214 in a couple different uh, configurations. You can get it without any discs, you can get it with two discs, or you can get it with four discs. Put it in, click, you're ready to go. So once you're powered up on the network, I'll take you through the next steps. Could not. Okay, so open up your favorite browser. Type in readycloud.netgear.com and the super secret HTML5 stuff starts finding a ready NAS on your network. You click the discover button. Then you click the setup button. There's my ready NAS 214, my serial number, boom. Now, I already have a ready cloud account. I suggest you set one up, it's super easy. Next, I'm gonna enter my super secret information here. No peeking. Click next. It's gonna log me into my account. It's gonna ask me for the device name. I'm gonna change the name of the device. Something I'll recognize, Tommy TRC NAS. And it asks me what time zone I'm in. Okay, good. Now you have to go to the physical device and press the backup button. That means, so you're not so you have physical access to the device, okay? Kind of a fail safe, nice net gear, thank you. My ready NAS is ready to go. There's three ways to access my content. The ready cloud web portal, mobile app, or the app on your Mac or your PC. Okay, I'm physically attached. You can see over on the left hand side, there's my Tommy NAS. I have another NAS on the network also. You can see those folders, and to be honest with you, right now, you're ready to go. If you do nothing more, you're going to see those items on your network, and here we'll show you. Let's log into my network here, type in my name, Tommy Naz. Log in as guest, make this easy peasy. There they are. Documents, pictures, videos, music. <clears throat> Boom, I'm ready to start sharing. I'm ready to start copying stuff over. I love that. Couldn't be easier, couldn't be easier. Now what if you wanna create your own share? How do we go about doing that? Okay, well let's we gotta, we gotta click the manage button up on the left top left hand corner. There's our, the first thing I like to do, let's turn on the antivirus. You can never be too, too safe. What's neat is a network attached storage is actually like a little computer. 
There's a little computer with a, with a Linux operating system here without getting too detailed. So it's doing stuff in the background. So it can do stuff. You can make it do more stuff. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. So, but we're going to turn our antivirus on here. We're going to go manage our page. And the first thing we do, uh, username, admin, password is password. Whew, super secret. Okay. So our antivirus is on. It tells us when the status is healthy. Good. I want to make sure I update. You want to make sure I update the latest firmware and latest code. Okay. We're already, we did that. Let's take a look around for a second. Okay. It tells us we got two one terabyte drives. We got two bays empty. Okay. Now let's create a new folder for us to access. Create a new folder. Let's give it a super secret name. Tommy log. Snapshot. Snapshot is cool. Snapshot allows you to back up your data, but it happens at the NAS. You don't have to do anything about it. I like it. I turned it on. Hit OK. Created a new Tommy log 2 folder. Awesome. Let's go in here and check our settings. For some reason, it doesn't show up on the network until you check your settings and just double check everything. So let's go in here. We're going to double check our settings. Okay, gonna turn our snapshot on. Yes, good. You turn, for some reason, you turn it off and then you turn it back on. We're going to hit apply in a second. You know, what type of users? You can set up different user levels. We're, we're saying simple on this, just guest. But you can get as complicated as you want. There's, there's so much stuff that you can do on here. It's pretty amazing. Do we want to have a quota? Do we want to say, hey, I only want you to have 100 gigs of space, or I only want you to have 500 gigs of space? We'll have everything be guessed. We're going to hit apply. Thanks for a second. I'm on a Mac, and that's why I turned AFP, uh, Apple Talk Share Pro Protocol, on. If you're on a PC, don't turn on AFP. That's just added waste. Okay, let's go take a look at it in our, in our network area. There it is, Tommy Log 2. Ready to connect. There it is, ready to share. There's my little snapshot folder, so it puts the snapshots in there. Now what's really cool is you can explore and go to the nap app area. <clears throat> go to the app area. Here you can see there's there's different areas that you can uh, look at. So there you have it, the Ready NAS 214 by Netgear. Setup couldn't be easier. My eight-year-old daughter Emma could do it. Put the drives in, network, power, setup could not be easier. This setup routine is totally 100% Tommy approved. I want to thank Netgear for allowing me to test this and play with it. My opinions are my own. Thank you so kindly. If you have questions and comments, I love answering questions. I love answering comments. Please do. I answer them all myself. Right here in the show notes, you can, you can get all my addresses and everything, emails, the whole nine yards. This is Tommy with Tommy Log Tech. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.